I finally unlocked the helmet system. Uh, it took me a little bit longer than usual because I've been spending my standings left and right. Did not know that's gonna cost me 15,000 standings to unlock the segment, but anyways, I'm finally here and it is incredible. D did a great job. Uh, usually you don't, but this time did a great job. I'll tell you why. Uh, because the grind for it is so gonna is gonna be so easy for the people who already have a lot of resources because they actually allow you to use worthless resources that you will never never ever use like alloy plates or ferret stuff right or or <laughs> salvage look at up 30 million salvage so you can use all these worthless resources that you never ever use to feed this guy i'm gonna get this guy so fat that uh, anytime my ship lands on a on the landing and the landing pad is gonna just go straight through it i mean i'm gonna get this guy fat but with all the <laughs> resources that i already have so yeah i really appreciate that they did this they did this uh, the, the grind for this to uh, to feed your uh, helmet is gonna be a lot easier for the people who've been playing this for a while because like I said look at this you have shit on all of the resources like Rubido was the last time you ever used Rubido when you were like MR1 or 0 or something right and you never touch it after that and uh, same thing goes for all I think that um, biotics what are we called biotics is gonna be a little bit tougher for some people or, but it's really easy to get this resource and this resource right here if you play the new open world uh, the heart of demos it drops left and right I think I had around 7,000 I just feed it all to the team twice because I uh, consume one of the warframe already and so yeah it should be fairly easy to get this but it's gonna be I think this is gonna be the toughest one for some people to get uh, then there's uh, synthetics and again you have circuitry you have all the worthless resources you have nano sensors if you've been grinding uh, kuva a lot kuva survive a lot you're gonna have shit ton of this yeah, polymer one million polymer. the problem point is a lot of resources uh with uh then you have this right here again same thing you have nanospores you have plastides so easy to grind for this stuff you just have a lot of everything you know and it's really the grind is really really simple here uh, i guess it could be a little bit more harder for some players again but you can easily get cryo panic if you play um rail jack a lot and that's what i spent i had like around seventy thousand or something i just spent all of them uh, or fifty thousand i'm not remember it's easy to get argon crystal it's fairly easy to get uh Cryo takes, uh, even though the grind's a little bit more annoying. Uh, this is um, termite is a little bit more annoying to get grind for, but again, again, a little bit more annoying. But everything else, like I said, is fairly easy to grind. So they make this so easily accessible to everybody, pretty much, which is really nice, you know. I was expecting the grind's gonna be holy shit, you know, usual stuff. Um, but no, they actually went the other way and just say, I'm gonna give you a break in here, enjoy this new helmet system, and I'm grateful for that. Thank you for letting that. So the first ability I obviously consume is Warcry, because it suits my playstyle, and from my point of view, I consider this probably the third best ability in entirety of the game. Number one is uh, Necros Desecrate, because it's just so amazing, fits with my playstyle, and it's so easy it helps you grind a lot number two is probably chromos vex armor because you become incredibly tanky and you just one shot everything and obviously didn't give those two abilities and number three is war cry which they give up thank you for that i'm going to be putting that on every single of my war frames um after this i already unlocked all the war frame i've been grinding them for a while so i managed to uh grind all of the war frames out no i don't think i have grendel because it's a pain to grind for him and you need to find like a squad i tried doing solo i think i did one of them solo but i wasn't able to do the other ones uh, i think i did survival solo i'm not sure i have to check it out but the grendel farm is just a pain but I don't really care about his abilities anyways. Um, so my second ability is probably going to be Defy. Even though I heard online a lot of people talking shit, Defy is not even that good, blah, 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 blah. It's only because it doesn't fit their play style. But if you play similar to me, then you know how incredibly powerful Defy can be. Especially for those Warframe that are really squishy. Um, like The problem with those Warframe is that they don't have enough armor. So if you can get past 800, 900 armor, you can easily get 1000 health on Warframe, but it's really hard to get past like 900 or 800 armor. But once you get past that barrier, uh, it means that nothing's gonna one shot you. Uh, you can easily do an hour and steel path. You can even do two hours and steel path. Uh, and uh, they will not be able to one shot you 
I don't know about yours. I know you can easily do an hour and still pad. Uh, uh, I did it a uh, bunch of times with most of our frame, and they had a lot less armor. It's so if I cannot be one shot it, I cannot be killed the way I play because I play with life steal. So that means that any of the warframe I will play, if I have defy on them, they're pretty much immortal. Nothing's gonna kill you, which is I'm really excited for it. That means I can actually play other warframe that I never play because I mostly play tanky warframe because I'm a fan of their play style. And I also don't really like to spend my ability too many times. I just like to press the button once and because I mostly just play with my melee and I like to stay the ability to stay for the rest of the game uh, or at least like once every two minutes or something. I don't want to spam non-stop. Not a fan of those flashy style of frames either like, you know, like Equinox or Cyan or all of those uh, other frames that a lot of people play for like damage. I'm just personally not a fan, and same goes for Korra. I prefer Necro all the time because he just fits my playstyle over Korra, you know? But Defy is gonna change that for a lot of Warframe. For me, again, for my playstyle. It's gonna make me use other Warframes that are really squishy, and I'm gonna be able to make them so incredibly tanky that they will never die. That's why I'm gonna make that. That's why uh, a lot of people wanted to get Defy, or at least I think that's why, you know? Because I know some people didn't understand why would Defy be so popular. The reason it's so popular is because armor is really... If you play the way I play style for like melee play style, armor is really, really good for, for uh, life stealing and stuff. But yeah, I'm excited for this update. Again, thank you for making the grind for this helmet so much easier than, than, than it could have been, you know? Because in past history, as we know, the grind is not easy in this game, but they actually made the grind for helmet incredibly easy for you like you can use salvage your <laughs> 30 million salvage you can just feed him not stop with a 30 million salvage you know i mean holy shit so yeah anyways i'm excited for this update and i'm gonna probably when tomorrow comes i'm gonna pop that ability on a lot of my warframes uh first one is gonna be in arrows because he has Three abilities I can get rid of, I never use, I only use his four, so that means his one, two, and three. Especially his three, which is completely worthless, and I'm gonna sub this for his three, you know? And that's gonna go for other Warframe as well, you know? So, yep, 